uh, while I am teaching this online course on special theory of relativity, lots of questions are asked by students uh, regarding various uh, aspects. So, one is which has been asked by many students that uh, relativity says that all inertial frames are equivalent and speed of light is constant in all inertial frames. What if speed of light is measured in non inertial frame? Is that also the same C or it is something different or different non inertial frames have different speeds of light? So, that is a very common question which I want to answer today. Now, non inertial frames is not handled by that special theory of relativity which Einstein formulated in 1905. It is a very natural question that uh, what happens if I go in non inertial frame and how the speed of light will uh, behave and all that. And therefore, Einstein also encountered the same question in his mind and uh, but to look for the answer he had to do lot of uh, research and came up with uh, an entirely new theory which is known as general theory of relativity. So, I am telling this to impress upon you that the answer of this question is not going to be simple and therefore, do not expect that I will say yes or I will say no. Now, I am not an expert on uh, general theory of relativity, but uh, the basic idea is that non inertial frame is similar to a place where you have gravitational field or some kind of a force which is uh, which is there acting on all bodies. So, non inertial frame and this uh, region with a gravitational field they are equivalent. So, that is the starting point of general theory of relativity. And when you have gravitational field what they say is space time and space time means one single word space time which includes space and time that does not remain uh, flat. So, I am using a uh, very uh, super power words uh, because this theory is like that. So, if you do not understand do not mind I also do not understand much. So, what they say is that uh, our just like uh, we have a uh, uh, let us say three dimensional space. So, in our three dimensional space if I take two points x 1 y 1 z 1 x 2 y 2 z 2 and try to see what is the smallest path by which I can go from here to there I know it is a straight line. So, that kind of space is called a flat space and a curved space means that if you take two points and uh, ask what is the sh uh, sh shortest uh, distance between these two that is not a straight line. So, that is known as curved path curved space. Now, space and time they are also merged in relativity and the one entity space time that can be flat if there is no gravitational field it is flat and you can use your uh, geometry entry in the form that you have studied it, but if you have gravitational field then this space time is curved. If you have masses, if you have stars, if you have black holes, if you have uh, heavy masses celestial bodies. So, around that this uh, space time does not remain flat and at different points of this space time you have different uh, length scales and time scales. Okay. So, in a non inertial frame it is very difficult to define a velocity for a longer, longer distance. Suppose, I say oh, in these 10 seconds uh, how much it has traveled and what is the velocity. Then during those 10 seconds as you are going from one place to the other place and time is also changing at different instants at different locations the length scales are changing the time scales are changing and therefore, to define velocity it is very very difficult. So, you can have two type of thing one is 
locally in a very short time and then for a short time you can uh, approximate that as a flat kind of locally flat kind of space time and then you can ask what is the speed. So, what is dx, what is dt, what is dx by dt and that that will always be c, that will always be c. But if you have an extended path, extended time and you are asking for some kind of an average velocity, then uh, no, then in, in that case it will be depending on the situation the values will be different. So, that is that is my answer to whether speed of light is c in non inertial frame yes or no. I will not say yes or no, I will say that it is a tricky question because the sp how to define speed that is also uh, something that you have to come up with. What do you mean by speed? If your length scale and time scale is changing every here and there, then how do you what do you mean by speed? That itself is a, if a different story and therefore, we do not talk of the constancy of speed of light in non-inertial frames.